Now, I am become death, the destroyer of the worlds. As Robert Oppenheimer witnessed the detonation of the first ever nuclear bomb in 1945, this line from the Gitter kept running through his mind, constantly in a loop. He was witnessing the intensity of the destruction that could be caused by his creation. Personally, I'd say he did a good job of holding it together. People say that nuclear energy has had a very interesting history. That interest is mostly because of the dangerous nature of the core technology being used here. Now, imagine something that is even more powerful. Something that would make the nuclear bomb look like a firecracker. Military documents have surfaced which claim that the US Navy is experimenting with a space-time modification weapon. Yes, a US Navy researcher with a quasi facetious reputation for working on UFO-like technology just patented a compact nuclear fusion reactor that could allegedly fit inside of a vehicle. And don't worry, we're going to try our hardest to unpack that for you. When it comes to technological advancement, can this dangerous technology actually prove to be promising? And dare I say, useful? Or is it something that's better just left to the fictional worlds? Orbit. Beyond the blue. Many would be familiar with AATIP a United States government program that spent millions of taxpayer dollars on bizarre, experimental technologies like invisibility cloaks, anti-gravity devices, traversable wormholes, and a proposal to tunnel through the moon with nuclear explosives, and of course, alien encounters. Now, new documents have surfaced that claim that the US Navy performed experiments on far-fetched technologies, including building a space-time modification weapon, which, researchers claimed internally, could revolutionize power and propulsion systems and change everything. The mysterious technologies were meant to take advantage of the Pays effect, patented by American aerospace engineer Salvatore Cesar Pays, and which could end up pushing the boundaries of conventional science if, that is, they are ever proven to actually work. This technology could enable a propulsion system that defies gravity, as well as even more eccentric claims. In a January 2020 interview, Pace had laid out plans for a hybrid aerospace underwater craft that he claimed was able to engineer the fabric of our reality at the most fundamental level. Needless to say, these theoretical devices have yet to be demonstrated in any meaningful way, but, at the same time, the fact that the US military is funding their development does lend them a veneer of credibility. The US Navy took Pay's ideas seriously enough to pour hundreds of thousands of dollars into their development, so there has got to be something of substance and value in these plans. The documents reveal that the space-time modification weapon which is based on a Pays patent for a plasma compression fusion device, is supposed to release extremely high energy levels and make the hydrogen bomb seem more like a puny little firecracker, in comparison. The experiments sound incomplete, though. It is not yet known to the general public whether the elusive Pays effect has been observed or proven. But what is known for sure is that the Navy funded such a project what we do know for sure is that unbeknownst to you and I, a lot keeps happening in the world of science, technology and innovation. And speaking about innovation, Elon Musk has something up his sleeve. The CEO of SpaceX who wants to transform humanity as we know it. Who wants to make humanity a multi-planetary, space-faring species. One that can finally move slightly up the Kardashev scale. For Musk, Mars is, or rather should be, humanity's ultimate destiny. So it's a serious understatement to say that Musk, whose SpaceX rocket tech company has helped launch space tourism, is determined to bring humans to Mars as soon as possible. And in this quest to fulfill his dreams, 
Elon Musk has turned toward a very controversial kind of technology. Yes, you guessed it right. Making use of nuclear energy to power spacecrafts. Hold your horses before you start imagining a Chernobyl-esque scenario. Let's picture what such a spacecraft would look like. And is it even remotely doable at all? A nuclear-powered spaceship would be designed to stay in space all the time more like the Enterprise on Star Trek. It might travel between Earth orbit and Mars orbit. It might be much larger than Starship, SpaceX's current Star Rocket, because it could be assembled in space and wouldn't ever need to land. Starship is designed for a role that a nuclear-powered spaceship couldn't have, launching stuff from the Earth and landing and launching from other planets and moons. The nuclear alternative to rocket fuel could unlock faster travel times around the solar system. A keen area of interest as humans plan to become a planet-hopping civilization. To put things into perspective, a nuclear-powered rocket could cut down the time taken to reach Mars from 8 months to 100 days. Well, when you put it like that, sounds lucrative, doesn't it? For a company that's planning to establish an entire civilization on Mars, cutting down on travel time to and fro between the two planets would be very, very necessary. Our current crop of rockets, from SpaceX Starship and BFR to NASA's SLS, are chemical-based. These rockets work by setting fire to the fuel and pushing the exhaust through a nozzle, creating thrust that gets the rocket lifted up and into space. A nuclear-powered rocket, however, would have a reactor on board that heats up a fuel like liquid hydrogen, blasting the propellant through the nozzle at high speeds. The reason why nuclear rockets get scientists and Elon Musk squealing with excitement is because they could produce several times more force than traditional rockets. Added emphasis on several times. NASA is not a stranger to the concepts either. The space agency has been exploring the concept since the 1960s, back when it was working with the Atomic Energy Commission. Indeed, Weeks after Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon in 1969, engineer Wayne Herr von Braun was devising a way to use nuclear reactors to get to Mars. The idea was to use three nuclear-powered boosters in Earth orbit, joining together with a capsule on top of the central core. Von Braun envisioned the mission taking place in the early 1980s. Unfortunately, in part due to a lack of public support for sending people to an empty wasteland, the Nixon administration axed almost all of Von Braun's plans. Nuclear rockets again surged to the surface in May 2019, when an amount of $125 million in funding was set aside to explore nuclear thermal propulsion development. It waits to be seen whether we will ever get to see a NTP engine being used in a rocket. As with any bizarre technology, it's hard to tell what's really going when it comes to both the nuclear rockets as well as the space-time modification device. It remains unclear specifically what applications, if any, the Navy expects to use such a device, should it actually someday exist. Maybe someday, hopefully, we'll know for sure, but what do I know? Beyond the Blue